Hi everyone, this is Olga Yurovsky. I'm a founder of Shoperations. And today I'm going to share some of my predictions for 2019 in terms of what retail and shopper marketing trends we will be observing. I believe one of the most interesting trends that is happening right now in the marketplace is the merger of online and offline retail. You can see acquisitions happening, partnerships between the traditional retailers and technology companies are happening. This is going to continue. And the goal behind this is to create a frictionless shopping experience. Retailers are going to compete in this space very much. They're going to become obsessive about it, making sure that your shopping experience is smooth, whether you start your journey online and put something in your basket, or if you discover new products in store and then carry um, the shopping process from the store into the um, your home computers or mobile devices. I believe this is a fascinating space to observe and uh, there's lots of news that's going to happen because I believe that retailers are hiring um, for their IT departments and their technology centers um, in massive scale. So let's observe what's happening with Kroger's, with Walmart's and other major retailers because they're about to make major announcements and major shifts in their um, omni-channel strategy. I believe that a trend we've been observing about better for you and um, socially responsible brands and products is going to continue. In fact, it's become mainstream in some parts of our country and it's no longer a niche. This is not just um, a nice to have anymore. This is a cost of entry. And what's happening is that smaller companies that are launching brands online and e-commerce space, they understand that really well and they're launching their brands with that sort of mentality and that lens in mind. They're quickly grabbing the market share and becoming no longer niche retailers and niche brands, but they're becoming major presence. And that's how the acquisitions are happening. So I believe that both large companies as well as the small brands that are being launched in 2019 and beyond are going to have that mission statement, that social responsible and better for you focus from the get go. It's no longer um, a nice to have. The other trend that I'm observing is that e-commerce is becoming a more pragmatic business area for many CPG companies. While in the past, it was a bright, shiny object where starry-eyed shopper marketers and salespeople were charging against just to learn and do a land grab, they would invest a lot of resources to uh, develop relationships with uh, pure play and brick and mortar um, and click and mortar retailers to understand exactly what online shopping is like, what's the promise. In 2019, it's going to be a year of accountability. What we'll see is that people will start scrutinizing their e-commerce investments to truly understand what do we get in return? Is this really paying off? Um, it's important to do so because I think what happened in the last few years is that a lot of focus and resources were channeled into e-commerce at the expense of traditional shopper marketing and in-store activation. And while e-commerce is growing by leaps and bounds, in-store is where most of the profits and most of the sales are still being generated. So if we uh, invest a disproportionate amount of our activities and investments and attention to e-commerce only and forget about the bread and butter of our business, we're going to suffer in the long run. So what I think is going to happen is that companies who invested a lot of money into e-commerce in the early years will start coming back and reevaluating their investments holistically to understand exactly what e-commerce brought to them. So prepare for a Lots of questions and lots of scrutiny on the e-commerce dollars to be able to answer very easily and very quickly what you've learned and what the investments have brought you. Finally, I wanted to mention that a retail media trend that we've observed exploding over the last year or so, where lots of retailers are developing their own e-commerce and media platforms to draw the funding from the CPG industry to activate shopper marketing programs is going to continue. More and more retailers will come up with their version of Kroger Precision Marketing or Walmart um, WMX platforms, and they'll ask you to fund them. So prepare to be very strategic about making those investments. Understand where the funding is going to be come from um, and understand how you can leverage those investments in securing merchandising activity. Because the pool of money we have is obviously limited. Being able to sit down with your retail partners and plan holistically both your media spend and your merchandising activity is going to be super important. I believe this is going to trigger the demand for a new generation and new breed of marketers and salespeople who understand analytics and sales process, who can negotiate effectively, who can also understand what works and what doesn't in the digital media space. So if you're a salesperson, 
hone up on your analytics and marketing skills. If you're a marketing person and or a marketing analyst, understand how the analytics that you do helps empower sales process. We've seen influencers marketing grow a lot in the last few years. Companies like Ahology and Collective Bias have been doing really well. And I believe this is going to continue. And in fact, influencers are going to become even smaller and more fragmented. And we call them micro-influencers. So these are not the traditional celebrities. These are not even large bloggers with massive following. These are creators on YouTube. These are the people, the personalities that your kids and preteen and teenage kids uh, interact with and listen to and watch on YouTube every day. Um, this is going to help you reach your shoppers um, and your consumers with a message that they're believing and they're finding credible. In the age where digital media is questionable and it's hard to understand the impressions of digital media uh, buys and also the traditional media channels are losing credibility um, and they're no longer respected uh, to deliver the, the brand message, Understanding micro-influencer market and uh, what they can do for your brand is going to be very important. Uh, there are some companies who are launching platforms to help you manage relationships with micro-influencers. So take 2019 to experiment. Reach out to those providers who help you launch micro-influencer campaigns and understand what is the best way to reach your um, micro-influencers who can understand your um, target audience and who, who can help you reach them in a very different, very credible way. Good luck.